just to remind you, I'm going to read several verses. Uh, this may not be for me to scriptures. I don't know, but it should be. So. If you'll turn to Jeremiah, the 17th chapter, fifth, start with the 5th verse. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whoso heart and whose heart departeth from the Lord. For he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inhabit. The parched places in the wilderness in a salt land, and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Yes. Mm -hmm. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heath cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought. Neither shall cease from, cease from yielding fruit. Now I want to back up to the... <clears throat> put these on. To the seventh verse. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. That's mm -hmm. Brother Charles, he would have asked the Lord's blessings over this. Lord, we thank you for your word. We thank you yes. for your spirit. Yes. God, we ask, Lord, that you just anoint your messenger tonight. Lord, our hearts and ears that we might, might receive your word, the things that you have for us, that the anointing of the Holy Ghost fall in this place. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was thinking today, the word talks about curse when you put your hope in man, put your trust in man. I, I don't think it really means, though, that we can't trust each other. But we don't need to put so much so much faith in man uh, and this may just be for me but I, it, it hit me today a lot of times I think the reason when man lets us down is because we expect more from them than we do ourselves huh. yeah. mm -hmm. you know a lot of times you know and I've said it before you know you, it, it's good to have somebody you can call and, and pray for you but it's bad when you call them and say, I need you to pray for me. You know, i got this going on. I'd like you to lift me up in prayer. But the team's going about your business saying, well, they're going to pray for me. That, that, I, haven't, I haven't done my part. And I put my hope and my trust in man. And they could be busy like I was. Amen. Bless the Lord. Totally different. That's, that, that part's free there. Uh, the 39th chapter of Psalms. In the seventh verse, it says, Now and now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. You know, we can you can look you, look, you can look far and wide and, and, and I, I have put my hope in people. Yeah. And I've been disappointed. That's right. And you know, there's one one scripture that says, you know, some men trust in the horses and the and the footmen and everything, but but, but my hope is in God. Yes, my is. hope is 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 in an eternal life that that um that I'm looking forward to like Brother Timmy was talking about. I, I crawl around the dirt enough, I don't care about having no dirt thrown on top of me. You know, I had I had hope today every time I'd crawl up one of that house and turn the water on that I wouldn't have any more water leaks. And just like man, I was disappointed several times. But when you put your hope and trust in God, Brother Richie ain't gonna be disappointed. You may have some, maybe some, some, some down times. There'll be some trials and some troubles. But if we'll keep on looking toward God, who is our hope. Amen. Yes, He is. If you'll turn. To the sixth chapter of John. I was talking with a couple of friends the first part of the week, and I thought about this scripture, or one of these scriptures, and, and uh, start with the sixtieth verse says, Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is a hard saying, who can hear it? 
when Jesus knew in himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said to him, Does this, does this offend you? Why did you shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he is before? It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are Amen. life. But there are some of you that believe not. For Jesus knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And you know what? He let them run with him anyway. Right. Yeah. I don't I don't understand how I mean he knew Judas was going to betray him. Right. And he let him stay right there with him. You know, him, a lot of times we get so so uh, full of ourselves, I guess, that we can't associate with uh, mm. those lowly people, you know, that, that's not up to our standards of Christianity. But how can we, Sister Pauline, how can we, how can we draw somebody in if, if we're so high-minded we can't even, can't even speak? He didn't want to just speak. I mean, he, they were in his circle. And he knew he knew they didn't believe him. And he knew that one was going to, going to just turn against him completely. And he said, Therefore said I unto you that no man come unto me except it given to him of the Father. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Mm -hmm. Then said Jesus unto the twelve, Will ye also go away? And this... This kind of, to me, kind of says it all. It said, Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Amen. You know, I think about that, and, and no matter what, no matter what you're going through, what, you, what you've been through, and, and we've probably said it a hundred times more around here, there's no time to give up. Just as sure, you know, we use the, Bill Charles likes to use my deer hunt scenario. When I climbed out of the stand, I didn't hurt the deer when it run off behind me. Just as sure as I was to give up now, Brother Brad, the Lord could come tomorrow. I, I, I saw a thing on Facebook today that says there's nothing on earth worth going to hell for. Amen. You know, Amen. I, I've heard my grandmother, she used to say, tell how long she'd live for God. I've never seen a place to turn around. And I wouldn't tell her she's telling a story because I, I like to keep my teeth. But I, but tell me, I've seen a lot of places to turn around. And, you know, the devil will the devil clean off a spot on the side of the road just to Amen. have a place to turn around. You know, if he can't he catch you pause just for a moment. Mm -hmm. He's going to find you a place to turn around. Yes, he will. He's going to find a way to dig at that hole. You know, because if you're not moving forward, you get stagnant. And, and I'm tired of being stagnant. Bless I'm tired of sitting in the same, same place. But I, tell you, I think it's time we all move up to that next plateau. You know, I've heard ladies talking about being on a diet and they, they reach the plateau. They're ready to reach that next plateau. Well, I'm not worried about losing. I'm worried about gaining. Amen. Gaining that new life, Brother James, that, that, that life that he's promised us. Yes, sir. And there's a scripture, and I have quoted it a hundred times in my words. Brother Charles, I found out today I've been quoting it wrong. I was, matter of fact, I found it out after I got here this afternoon. It hit me on the way up here, Brother Tim, and I was like, that, that right there, I didn't put that in with my message, because that goes right along with it all. And, and uh, 1 Corinthians, Corinthians, I can't even talk tonight. The 15th chapter, the 19th verse. And I've quoted it a bunch of times, and I said, if, if in this life only we have hope, we're of all men most miserable. And that makes 
that makes pretty good sense. If it's just this life that I got hope, I'd be miserable. Amen. But it says yes, that if in this life only we have hope in Christ. And I thought about that, I'm like, that put a whole new twist on that scripture, but really. Mm -hmm. if, if I just got hope in this life in Christ, that means there's nothing better. I don't know about y'all, but even even my best days could be better. Amen. You know, I've never I've never been been so well that I couldn't be a little bit how would you word that? Old well would be well but better. You know, uh, if I only have hope that Christ can take care of me here. Because already told us, you know, that, that we're going to have troubles and trials. Yes. What's good about that? Bless him, Lord. You know, through tribulation, we learn, learn faith through tribulation. That's not fun. <coughs> patience. I've never, I never prayed for patience. It's not fun for the team to gain patience. If, if, if just what God can do for me here, I would be miserable. I know God's got a He's got a plan for each and every one of us here, but He's got a bigger plan. He's got a place prepared for us that I'm going to see one day. Amen. My yes. hope is not just in what He can do here. My hope is in walking those streets of God. Amen. That's right. Sister Ruth Bridger, when you say she wanted to sit on green hills, that's that's all she was worried about. She wanted to sit on green hills. That'd be fine if I got to mow them. Of course, Sister Robin was mowing for me, so I'd be all right. Too. She likes to mow. <laughs> but I put my hope in something more than than, than just. Here. Amen. It's just yes, sir. Temporary. Mm -hmm. But my hope is not temporary. That's my hope right. is eternal. And one of these days, one of these days, I'm going, I'm going to see him. I'm going to see him face to face. I'm going to hear him say, "Well done." Amen. And I, you know, I'm like you go to him. I don't, I don't want to be buried. I want to go to the rapture. Bless I want to be able to. I'm going to be able to pause just for a second as I fly up in the air just look around just to see you later. I, you know, if God wants me to be buried and be brought up that way, that's his business. But that, that's, and I know we can't choose, but I know my hope, I know where my hope is. Amen. And as long as I, and if I die with that hope intact, then I'm just going to beat y'all there. Yes. Well, it said the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. Don't put your trust in man. Man will let you down. And not always intentionally. Put your trust and hope in God. Mm -hmm. right? Not just for what he can do now, but what more, more so than what he can do now, what, what he's going to do for us. Amen. You know, once we make it uh, inside those gates, we used to sing a song, you inside those gates, there'd be no tears, no sorrow, no crying. Amen, that's right. No more pain. Mm -hmm. No more walkers. <laughs> no more glasses. Praise the Lord. It's going to be great, but we're going to be able to throw them things down. <coughs> no more pain, no more suffering. Put your trust in Him. Come on. Put your trust in Him. Let, mm. let, let the world know where your trust is, where your hope Amen. is. You know, you don't have, you know, and I, we said a lot of times you get a preacher to spread the Word of God. 
I mean, if, if the only ones I ever reached were the ones that come in here, then I'm not doing my job. Amen. It's, it's easy to serve God in here. Mm -hmm. When you come in here, you brothers and sisters, and they all in tune, and, and uh, it says we're two or three gathered in my name, there I'll be in the midst. <coughs> Show the world where your hope is. Mm -hmm. Talk about it.